Yeah, so Korean exclusives. Can't get these bad boys anywhere else. What are you saying, Pat? Yeah, but I can't look at that because you know my Korean's not that good, is it? Now leave it because I'm vulnerable about it, innit? So just don't. Patrick, I don't need this right. Patrick, Hajima. Patrick, yeah. Hajima, I saw. Wiggle it. Wiggle it, so. Hajima, I like you. Ya, Jungi? Ya, Jungi? Jungi? Patrick, Hajima! Hajima, I like you! What happened there? Bro, what the hell happened there? I'm, Patrick, I'm sorry, genuinely sorry, I don't even know. As soon as I touched my shoe, it was like I was channeling my wife. It's like my wife's spirit got inside me. Maybe this shoe's got special powers. Jesus. What's going on, people? Back with another exclusive, a Korean exclusive, special edition. These bad boys aren't coming out anywhere else. Jordan 1, low, gachi, let's go. So yeah, box, standard, it's a black one. It's got that Air Jordan motif embossed on it. It's very nice, very sleek. And then you've got the old tag, which has got Jordan 1, low, but it's got SE on there for special edition. And because this is special, we're not here for the box, are we? So we're ready, people. These bad boys are nice, eh? Boom! The Jordan 1 low gachi. Let's get right into it, yeah? Are you feeling these bad boys? What are you saying on these? I think they're alright, you know. So yeah, Jordan 1 low gachi. Gachi stands for magpie, alright? Now these are a strange one to be honest. The news reports last year said these were coming out for Sneakers Day in Korea in 2023. But now Sneakers Day is going to be on September 9th. So it's a weird one. But we've just got the Sneakers app in Korea. So I think these have come out in collaboration with the Sneakers app, which came out in like the 1st of July. You've had the Sneakers app for ages. We've only just got it. We got it on July 1st. And these shoes came out then. So I think they've come out because of the Korean Sneakers app. Do you know what I mean? They were supposed to come out for Sneakers Day, but I think they changed it. Especially now because, you know, Sneakers Day is going to be global around the world, you know, on September now. So yeah, John One Low Gachi. Might be a Sneakers Day release. Might be a Sneakers app release. Who knows? It's here. Let's review it, yeah? So yeah, starting with the midsole. All white. John One Low. Same as the Jordan 1 high, it's just a white rubber midsole going all the way around. But then you've got your gum on the bottom. And we'll look into that more on the outsole. Gum outsole. Standard Jordan 1 low outsole in gum. I love a gum hit, don't you? You can't beat a bit of gum. I just think it looks really nice. Gum always pops off, doesn't it? I don't know why. SB4s, that's got a gum sole on it. There's so many that have gum soles. They just pop. For some reason, they just wear. You think with that colour against the other colours, it wouldn't wear. But for some reason, it always does. Love a gum sole, yeah? Uppers! Because this is like a special drop, it's like a special edition thing for the sneakers app. They've really gone to town on the materials. The materials are lovely. You've got a mix of like suede, leathers, flat leathers, tumbled leathers. Yeah, they've really gone to town on the upper. I'm not gonna lie. Because it's like a special edition thing, it's a one-off thing for the sneakers app. They've gone to town on the materials, you know what I mean? These are beautiful. Right, on your toe box, it's leather. It's like a white leather, but it's just like a flat leather. It's like a dunk leather, do you know what I mean? It's not tumbled or anything, it's just a straight flat leather. And it's also a straight flat leather on the side. White flat leather on your swoosh. And then you've also got flat leather in the middle. It's like that dark coffee brown. It's nice actually, it's a lovely brown colour. And that's also right in the middle, on the medial and the lateral side you've also got like flat leather. It's nice though, it's good quality, decent. You've also got leathers going around your toe box, up your laces here and around the back, but it's more of like a pebbled leather. I'm gonna get in close so you can see it. It's leather, but it's like a sort of tumbled pebble effect. It feels sort of rough. It's beautiful. It looks really, really quality. You can see they put time and effort into the materials here because it goes well against that flat leather. You've got the flat white leather, but then you've got this lovely pebbled effect here. It is beautiful. And it just makes the shoe look really expensive and high quality. I really, really like that speckled effect. It looks naughty. Gotta be honest, it looks beautiful. Your tongue, yeah, it's got the jump man in the air. I'm guessing this is like a normal Jordan 1 low. To be honest, I'm not really a low man. I like the Jordan 1 highs more, so I haven't got many. I've only got the Travis, and that was only because, you know, I'm a hype beast. But I'm guessing the tongue is exactly the same. It's got that coffee brown jump man and the air, but then the rest of the tongue, it's like a foam. It's sort of like off-white, do you know what I mean? It's like an off-white vibes. It's a foam and mesh tongue together, and it is very, very foamy. But I actually think it looks okay. Usually I don't love a foam tongue because I think it makes things look cheap. But on these, it actually goes well against it. I think that foam tongue looks nice. It's a nice touch. Right, around your ankle, this is where your suede comes in. You've got like a grey suede, and it's a very smooth suede. It's not shaggy or anything. But it looks quality. It's a lovely, nice grey suede that goes all the way around your ankle. And I really like that colour. The colours just work really well together and make it look even more primo. I think they've done a really, really good job here. And then obviously the piece de resistance on the back. Check that bad boy out. Look at that magpie, that gachi on the back. 
That is beautiful. It's embroidered in there and it just looks lovely, that. And if you look, you can see in the middle of the map pad, there's a Nike swoosh there as well. I'll zoom in so you can see it. God, that's nice. That's a lovely touch. Again, just adds to that Primo special edition vibe, doesn't it? Lovely, lovely stuff. You get two sets of laces with these bad boys, you know what I mean? You get a white lace, but then you also get like this sort of like greeny avocado lace. I don't know if you like that more, if you think that works better, I'm not sure. You let me know, let me know in the comments. Do you like the white better or do you like the sort of like greeny avocado better? I think they both look nice. Maybe if you want a bit of pop, you can wear these. Maybe if you want it just normal, you can wear these. Maybe I can wear one white, one green. What are you saying? Just walk around like that and just pretend I'm not 42 years old. Yeah, maybe not, eh? On the back of the other shoe, you've got your normal Wings logo, your Air Jordan Wings logo, but again, it's embroidered in, it looks lovely. I just love the back. The Magpie, the Gachi, and the Air Jordan. That looks lovely together, innit? Now, the Magpie's got nothing to do with Newcastle, by the way. They've got nothing to do with this, unless the Saudis have bought Nike as well, which, let's be honest, they might have done, because they've bought everything else, haven't they? But for now, let's say it's got nothing to do with them. So, yeah, the materials are just quality, and there's so many nice little touches on this joint. You really are getting your money's worth. As I say, I'm not really a Jordan one low man. But when I got these, I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, I got them because, you know, you can't get them anywhere else. And I thought it'd be good for a review for you to see. But nah, the insole's like a brownie green insole. It looks a similar colour to the green laces. Maybe a bit darker. But yeah, it's like a sort of brownie green insole. And then it's just got the Air Jordan Wings logo on it. It's nice, though. I've got no problem with it. The laces are a bit thin, you know. I like the fact that you get the green laces and the white laces and you can choose. But the laces seem a little bit thin to me. You get these nice little grey tips on there as well. But I just think the laces are a bit flimsy. Everything else on here seems primo, proper quality, but I don't know. They're all right, the laces. It's not like they're really bad. I am nitpicking, but they do seem a little bit flimsy, to be honest. Also, on the inside, I won't be able to get it on the camera, but what I'll do is I'll show you a picture. It says Nike sneakers in Korean. Do you know what I mean? It says sneakers, and then in Korean it says Nike. So again, I'm guessing that's another clue to the old sneakers day. I think this maybe originally was meant to be for sneakers day this year, but because sneakers day has changed, they now released it when they released the sneakers app in Korea. That's all I'm guessing, because I'm assuming they produced these before they were even thinking of releasing the app here. So maybe this was supposed to be released for sneakers day, but it's changed. But I'll show you a picture up there, do you know what I mean? It says sneakers and Nike. Which is a nice touch. It's just printed inside the shoe. Right price, 169,000. Usually here, like Jordan ones are like 220,000. So these are a lot cheaper. Do you know what I mean? It's nice, isn't it? I mean, to get this quality special edition shoe with these primo materials for that price, yeah, I can't complain on the price. I've got to be honest. Comfort, yeah, they're all right, aren't they? Same as Jordan one highs. Do you know what I mean? They won't last you forever. They're not the most comfortable shoe in the world. But for a mooch around for like three or four hours, yeah, these are a fan. Remember, you've got primo materials on here as well. They're not like a standard normal Jordan one though. So. Yeah, I think these will be fine for comfort, to be honest. As you can see, these bad boys have come in as well. I mean, I'm not going to do a review, because everyone's done a review already. You've probably seen them a thousand times. What am I going to add to it, really? A song, maybe? Some passive-aggressive behaviour? No one needs it, do they? But look, there they are. I've got them as well. John and 1 UNC High. They're nice. I love them. Shouts to Aiden, ACS Sneakers. Shouts to Shay. Shouts to Pat Roll. Call him a GS shoe. GS. The disrespect. They nearly put me off, but they didn't. I bought them. Here they are. John and 1 UNC. That's enough of that, innit? So yeah, my overall thoughts, I love them eh? I think they're beautiful. I'm very, very happy to have them. As I say, I don't know if I'll wear them that much. I'm not really a John One Low man. I love the highs more. But these are a Korean exclusive. I had to get them because you're probably not going to see them anywhere else. So I want to show you all these so you can see the quality materials for yourself. I'll definitely keep them. I don't know if I'll wear them that much, but I'll definitely keep them. Anything Korean related, I have to buy it though. I ain't got choice. Casinos. I mean, these are great shoes, so I want to buy them. But I'm saying, I'm the Korean boy, aren't I? Do you know what I mean? My wife's Korean, her family's Korean. I've got no choice. Anything Korean with Nike has to go in the collection. But I might bought these anyway, they're that good. Quality, quality shoe. Rains! Yeah, I think Nan's fair, you know. The materials are too good. It's a quality shoe. The Magpie, the Gachi on the back there. What can you say? It's just a quality, quality shoe. Materials, colorway bangs. It's just got that lovely down to earth, sort of bland even aesthetic. But it just looks so cool, I reckon, on the streets. Wearing these. You look like you know your business. Gun bottom as well. Nothing to complain about. It's a 9 out of 10. Bosh. Cheers, people. Thanks for rocking with me as ever. I was glad to bring you these Korean exclusives. Hopefully, they might come out somewhere else down the line. And if they don't, you can go get them on StockX or whatever. I mean, you might have to pay a pretty penny. I don't know. But maybe they'll stay low. Maybe people won't be that interested. And it is quality. You will get bang for your buck with these materials. Trust me. Please like. Please subscribe. Please follow me and the big dog over on Instagram. We're there as much as we can. We're trying our best. I'll be back with another crep soon. I was going to review the old UNC ones, but 
You've seen him, haven't you? You don't need me blathering on anymore, do you? You've seen enough. But that said, I will be back with another prep very, very soon. We're going to show you some close-up shots of these bad boys right now, so you can decide if you want these further down the line. Happy sneakers there. I mean, that's what they were for earlier on, but obviously things change. Nike changes all the time, don't they? Be safe, be happy. Go and watch those on feet shots. From me and the big dog, we're out.